Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Especially, you know, for the Hello, Gunter. Welcome to Ecology Now TV. We're we're very honored to have you with us, and wanted to ask you a couple of questions uh, about the honeybee. Um, can you tell us uh, what you'd like to say to the world about the honeybee at, at this important time in in our evolution and in the in the uh, experience of the species okay. and the group soul um, of the honeybee? I was kind of maybe set up like another meeting. Well, the honeybee and her plight is saying to us that we are doing things the wrong way. And if you want to keep the honeybee, we have to change our ways of beekeeping, of working the land, of our relationship to the beings on this earth, the human beings, the plants, the animals, and the invisible world. That's what the honeybee is telling you. Change your ways, you are killing us. Okay, so what exactly is killing the honeybees? Um, there's the trucking, there's the uh, um, the GMOs. Um, I don't. I don't know where to start. What? What's yours? There's the varroa mite, and there's this thing they call mm -hmm. hive collapse. Can you? What do? You, how would you explain it? In as a, you know, from your cosmic perspective. It's all of these, and practically everything we do in our beekeeping methods, especially the way we raise queens the way we uh, feed sugar, the way we give foundations instead of letting them build real wags, it's everything. It's the whole attitude of exploiting that animal. That's what's killing it. And the pesticides and all the other things just come in because we have run the honeybee down so much. Yes, uh, I, th I think so. The corn syrup really depresses me. The thought of, of uh, the corn syrup that they just pump to these bees, that especially when they're doing GMO corn right now. And none of, and every article I've read, they just say, we don't know why, though. We don't know why, but, you know, we're giving them corn syrup, we're trucking them hither and yon, but why is the scientific community so deaf to the obvious? <laughs> because... The industry, the beekeeping industry, has created this way of beekeeping and it's very hard to get off it. Almost, yeah. You have to change so many things and you have invested so much money into the trucks and everything else that it's not easy to pull out. So it's a lot easier to try and look at things that uh, seem to be outside of our responsibility. Okay, and uh, well, thank you, thank you, Gunter, very, very much. Uh, just one quick thing: what's your your advice to a new beekeeper? Um, besides to read your wonderful book, um, what is the name of that book again? Towards Saving the Honeybee. And who publishes it? The Biodynamic Association. Oh, okay. Great. Um, any, any, uh, any quick advice, just uh, since I think it is the individual beekeeper who can save the honeybee? Well, start looking at the honeybee as an extraordinary animal that needs our care. That's what I would say. Okay, dear. Well, thank you so much. We're You're really delighted to have you. You're welcome. Okay. So, how are you feeling? Are you test, comfortable? Test, test. <laughs> Hmm? Welcome to Ecology Now TV in New Paltz, New York, where I'm delighted to be with bee doctor Chris Harp.